What's going on, guys? Look at the next big trade of the day with Anaheim Ducks trading Ricard Raquel, the Pittsburgh Penguins, for a second round pick, Zach Aston Reese, Dominic Simon, and Cal Klang. So, I feel like it's kind of a sneaky good trade by the Penguins. Obviously, it's a pretty big package, but Raquel's a very solid forward, um, easily, you know, a top six, low end first liner, and they didn't even have to give up a first round pick to get him. He's also got a really good contract, and still the Ducks are retaining 50% on it. As you can see here, he's 20 years old, 84 overall, making just under 3.8 there for one more year, so he is a pending free agent. I should say the Ducks have done a really good job this deadline, training away all their pending free agents, like Raquel here for a nice package, Manson they got a second and a good D prospect, Lindholm they got a huge haul there, the first and two seconds, and with that young core being built around Zegers and Drysdale, I feel like the Ducks are going to have a very bright future. So. We'll add Raquel here to the Ducks side, uh, the only player they had to give up. Obviously, for us, the 50% doesn't matter. When we do the trade as the Penguins, we might have to take on the full contract. Now, as I mentioned, no first round pick, just a 2022 20, second. Um, they also get this goalie prospect, Cal Klang, in game 1972 medium fringe. Uh, hearing some people talk about him, he's probably more like a medium starter. Like, uh, there are some people pretty high on him. You can see there was a third round pick in 2020. And then on top of that, they get some decent depth forwards. I feel like the Penguins have enough. so. Wasn't really a big hit to them. Uh, the first one here, how far down do we got to go? Uh, Zach Aston Reese, more of a defensive guy. Uh, 79 overall in game, fourth line forward there. And then after that, you have Dominic Simon, a bit further down, 27 78. Again, more depth guys, uh, but I think, you know, the Penguins with trade away, so many people could use some dudes to fill into their lineup. So, looking at the two trades here, the Pitcher Penguins actually have a bit more value, but they want Raquel, seconds on the block, which has the most value, and we're getting Raquel at 50%. So, I think they might say yes to this. Trades rejected. Wow, okay. So, um, in-game, EA feels like the Penguins give up too much when, in real life, I think it was actually a good deal for the Pens. And I sure guys want to show you the last trade of the deadline between the Ducks and the Golden Knights, which somehow went through like three and a half hours after the deadline. The Ducks traded John Moore, who they got back from Boston in the Hampus Lindholm trade, along with Ryan Kessler, who of course is being used for LTIR by Vegas, in exchange for Dadnov and a second round pick. So, Vegas paid the Ducks a second round pick to take on Dadnov, who is still a decent player in my mind, like low end second liner, high end third liner. A second round pick to take on that guy is such good value, especially when guys like that, other teams are giving up second round picks to actually take at the deadline, but I guess no one wanted to help out Vegas, so uh, the Ducks I think made a really nice trade here. You can see in the game the value so far on the Golden Knights side, like yeah, that's never going through. And I sure guys want to give you an update look at the Ducks team after making all those trades at the deadline. Now this is their team when healthy. Honestly, I don't think it looks too bad considering the fact they lost three really solid players in Raquel, Lindholm, and Manson. You got Comtois, Getzlab, Terry on the first line, Dadnov, Zegers, Milano second, Lundstrom, Henrique, Silver third, Jones, Steele, Astros on the fourth. Again, my best guess when healthy, but I think it'll be something like that. Fowler, Drysdale, Shanker, Gooley, Larson, Mahur. Obviously, losing Lindholm and Manson definitely going to hurt that D. Still have Gibson and Net though, so like overall, considering the fact they got such good returns for those guys, all three. Uh, we're penning free agents, might not have resigned with them. I think they made out really well. I'll give you guys two a quick look here at Dadnov on the Ducks. I'm not honestly sure if he has a game face or not, but there you go, number 63, Evgeny Dadnov, newest member of the Anaheim Ducks. And next year, guys, we're gonna try this trade from Pittsburgh's perspective. As always, the trade typically set to medium. Not sure if I mentioned that in this video yet. Uh, Raquel, there's at 50%, which might be why they say no to this. They do like the second. They're not interested in any of the other players, though, in this trade. Value's on our side. Let's see what the Ducks say. Trades rejected, okay. I think it might go through if we take on his whole contract, but honestly, they might still say no, because if I'm the Ducks, I like Raquel in game here. They're considered a seller. Okay, that side does help us out. We'll see here, no retention. Trades accepted, okay, so there you go. And like I was saying, guys, the Ducks accepting that trade when the Penguins rejected it, that means EA actually thinks the Ducks won this one, but I think the Penguins made out pretty good. And after that trade, guys, you can update look at the Penguins team. They got Gensel, Crosby, Ross on that first line, which has been doing very solid for them. Raquel, Malkin, Zucker on the second line. Zucker's currently injured, but I think he'll probably come back there. Maybe it'll be Kapanen. Speaking of Kapanen, he's on the third line there with Carter and Rodriguez. Rodriguez actually been having a great season for the Pens. Then have Heinen, Bluger, Boyle on the fourth line. So they're definitely deep at forward. Defensively, they're not too bad. Dumoulin, Letang, Marino, Matheson, Pearson, Ruido. Like, that's not too bad at all. Uh, Jerry's been playing a lot better for them. The Smith backing him up. I think the Penguins could definitely go on a run this year. And actually, guys, I'll give you a first look at Raquel on the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's been on the Anaheim Ducks his entire career. There you go, 67, Raquel, mouth guard out. I don't really think that face looks too much like him. <laughs> it's just like the case for most of these guys so far, but there you have Raquel, 67 on the Penguins. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, I'll leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Also in the comment section, let me know which team you think won the trade. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.